Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Quest for Glory 4, Shadows of Darkness. All right, let's uh, head back out of here. Uh, before Come we... back and visit again. Okay. Oh, and if you see Igor, please tell him I still need the fluid. All right, I'll tell him. Uh, I probably should have said goodbye. Oh, well. All right, um, I believe that we can uh, play with this a little bit further. Thank you. Your Antwerp has been processed. Do you wish to identify another animal? Ye no. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Yes. Okay, let's go. Does it have legs? No. Is it yellow, slimy, and banana-shaped? No. Does it float? No. Ah, sounds like you need a ceramic coffee mug. Try sprinkling a little sugar and cream in the receptacle. Yes. No. No. Yes. You want a styrofoam coffee cup. Sorry, they're environmentally unsound. Besides, styrofoam hasn't been invented yet. <gasps> yes. No. Uh, no. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's, uh, let's exit. There we go. No. Yes, it is yellow, slimy, and banana-shaped. Ah, you want a banana slug? I can't imagine why. Try feeding it bananas, but watch out for the orangutans. <laughs> Alright. Yes, does it have legs? Yes, it does. Hmm, does it have more than one leg? No. That's probably a banana slug on a pogo stick. Try this again, but forget the pogo stick next time. Oh my. Yes, yes. Does it have more than one leg? Yes. Does it have more than two legs? No. Would you... Uh, do you like hot fudge sundaes? No. Forget it then. I refuse to deal with anyone who doesn't like hot fudge sundaes. Try again. <gasps> yes, 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 no. Do you like hot fudge sundaes? Yes, I do. Then I suggest you put a hot fudge sundae in the receptacle. Start eating it and push the activate button. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it does have more than two legs. Does it have more than three legs? No. Three legs? That's a monkey on a pogo stick. Trap it with bubble gum. Yes, 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 yes. Does it have more than four legs, then? No. Uh, then is, is it an animal which has four legs and flies? No. I'd be lying if I told you to catch a tiger by the tail. So what else is new? Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. No. Yes. A horse has four legs and flies. Use a fly swatter to get rid of the flies. Then pay your way with hay. Oh, that was bad. Yes, 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 yes. This is getting tricky. Does your animal have more than five legs? No. It's an elephant on a pogo stick. Try putting some peanut butter on the ground. Yes, 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 yes. Does it have exactly six legs? No. More than six legs? Wow, you're trying to catch a giant carnivorous, carnivorous millipede. Try ordering it a hamburger and fries. Yes, 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 yes. Does it look like a cross between an octopus and a squid, only with fewer tentacles? No. You're probably trying to catch ants, then. Call up some uncles. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Hmm, well, hexapods mostly eat heroes. Sound like a good idea to you? Yes! Great, just step over here into the receptacle then. No. I was wondering. Well, in a pinch, a clove of garlic will do. Hey, I got points. I got me some points. I like the points. Alright, now let's go head back to the, uh... The monastery. Let's go ahead and uh, boost up that speed a tinch. Alright. Uh, let's use the dock one symbol. Yes, 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 yes. You're gonna, you're gonna complain. Yes, blah, 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 blah. Uh, actually, to be fair, let's uh, go ahead and save. 
Temp. There we go. You push the dock. Okay. All right. One thing that we want to do. Can we uh, take you that? Budget. If you want to do anything with the sculpture, you'll have to do it here. Oh. All right. Uh, can I open up the uh, cabinet? Strike a mighty hammer blow at the glass case. Oh, cool. It just sort of looks at you through its glass eye. You need to either build up your strength or try another approach. Wait, what? You strike a m you stri How is my strength not high enough already? I've got a 288 strength. Hmm. You retrieve the Maybe we can build up our stamina a bit more here. Um, save. Temp. I'm a little worried that uh, I might die here uh, from overexertion. Your legs are too stiff. After some rest, your legs are. All right. How are? Whoops. Not that. How are we doing? Uh, 292. After some rest. There's only a certain amount of punishment your body can stand on any given day. Enough pain, enough gain for now. Try again tomorrow. Oh. All right, let's go uh, put some weights in it for tomorrow you then. Consider placing a few more weights in the baskets, but think better of it. Oh. Oh, all right. So what did we actually end up getting up to? 292. We're going to have any luck now? Probably not. And it is now nighttime. Um, that's not what I want. I want that. You push the dark one sign in. Come on. You strike a mic. All right, we're going to have to come back and do that later then, apparently. All right, well, um Well, before we do that, let's uh, go ahead and take another quick save. La -da 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 -da. I'm sure this is perfectly safe. That's funny. The strange six-tentacled creature is moving. It looked like another wall decoration at first. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably is just a uh, wall decoration. Huh? Hello? Oh no! Holy hungry hexapods! Hector Hexapod has a hunch. That hapless hero was his lunch. Since you brought no better fare, he chose to eat you then and there. Alright, let's uh... All right, let's toss him this uh, garlic. Hector the hexapod happily gorges itself on the garlic. Hector looks much less hungry and perhaps a little less dangerous now. Well, that's good. Can we fiddle with this thing? Yeah, points. Let's go down into uh oh. There is a cold feeling down here that chills your bones and sets the hairs on the nape of your neck on end. There is a musty odor of mold and mildew mingling with the sickeningly sweet smell of decaying flesh. Welcome to your nightmare. This is a dangerous. Now, nah, I'm pretty sure my nightmare is going to going to worker school with no clothes with on. Care. An incredible sensation of evil emanates from over by the book. That seems like an excellent thing to avoid. Oh, don't lie to me, game. This is clearly something that we want to play with. It's a book! What possible harm could there Huge be in a book? book on the altar looks fascinating. You could almost swear you saw it move. The title says Necrophilicon. Haven't you heard about this book, someone? Nope! Oh, God! Case and book closed. Maybe you should have judged this book by the cover. Anyway, 
The judgment seems to have gone against you. In fact, they threw the book at you. No, no, the book uh, clo closed on me. All right, let's restore it. All right, what other things can we die here uh, to? Uh, can we play with the statue here? It's a really silly looking statue and clearly of no value. It's also much too heavy to carry around with you. Oh, shucks. Uh, what is this here? Uh, why is that glowing? You feel a funny tingling sensation, then a slimy one, as you reach out to touch the statue. This is not good. Uh, uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no! I'm now a banana slug! Slug it out. Well, you have to admit that becoming a giant banana slug is one of the more unique situations in your adventuring career. It's also the last as you choke on your own slime. No! I've been slugged! Alright, what about this? Tap the huge cask of Amontillado. This is the strongest stuff you've ever tasted, assuming that you're not an aficionado. Oh, I've tasted that before. Bottoms up. Mmm, yum. How is this going to taste? Whee! Ugh. Oh, it's such a peaceful, pretty scene. Uh, it's getting dark. I'm sure it'll be nice, and, and we'll have a pretty moon out, and... Why, why is the mountain cracking apart? Oh. Oh, hmm. That's ominous. Man, have you got a headache? Fortunately, the Dark One rising seems to have been just a vision, not the reality. Yet. Well, at least he didn't have a Valeria with him. Ooh, the hey. scroll has fallen from the cask's wine droplets. Well, I want that. You pick up the rolled paper on the floor. It has a symbol of a drop of blood at the top, and the inscription, Ritual of Blood. You can't read any of the other writing on it. Oh. Try it again. The ritual isn't designed to be used that way. You need to read it in the appropriate place at the correct time. Damn it. That's no fun. All right, well, uh, I got something, so let's go ahead and save it. Can that I get some more? Do anything useful. That didn't do it. No. Nope. That didn't do it. All right, well, let's uh, look around a bit. Above the altar is the sign of the Dark One, surrounded by arcane letters. A notch next to the A makes you think that perhaps that is some sort of starting point for the letters. A voozle? Could be. There is a huge book on the altar. The binding looks like stretched human skin, with letters and markings written in dried blood. The letters spell out Necrophilicon. What could that mean? Sounds like a uh, lover of the dead? Oh, that's it. Something like the Silmarian for Of the Love of Death. Mm. There's something very, very wrong and dangerous about this book. Oh, I don't believe it, even You've though it crushed me before. things in your time, and that's certainly one of them. Indeed. You see a small statue that matches the description that the chief thief gave you. Um... I, I didn't get anything from the chief thief. These bizarre <laughs> I haven't met the chief thief. Stone carvings, you hope. These bizarre creatures are only stone carvings. A number of barrels stacked and strewn about show that this room was used for storage, as well as unspeakable acts. I don't think we can actually meet the chief thief in this, uh, um, a, as a paladin. It's a small barrel, perhaps once used for brandy. The huge barrel is labeled Cask of Amontillado. This must be the favored spirit that provided most of the income and fame of the monastic order here. It is rumored to provide strange and mystical visions to those who taste freely of its contents. Yeah, I don't believe it. The roll top desk is spotted with dark and ominous stains. Well, at least they're not. Never mind. Uh, can we open it? Open desk. Desk is naturally locked. Hmm. Um. 
didn't give me an option to, uh, like, bash it open or something like that. Well, how about we try... Open? Boom. Poof. The whirling cloud of undoubtedly poisonous gas surrounds the desk for a few seconds after your spell opens it. Then the cloud subsides. So, uh, as a paladin without magic skills, uh, there you'd have had to force it open, and uh, you'd have gotten uh, the poison on you. So, oops, actually, let's uh, not do that. Oh, all right. To find the diary of Amon Tilado. Boy, was this guy wacko! Clearly, reading this makes your head hurt. Ugh. However, it does give you some information about the Dark One ritual. Sweet. Let's summon an elder evil. The first ritual being placed within the mad monk's tombstone, there to be forever guarded by followers. The second ritual shall be placed in the stone of squids hmm. and revealed only by the light of a dead child's soul. Oh, that sounds horrible. The next ritual shall be placed in the hollow of the hangman's tree. There's a hangman's tree? ...by the spirit of the dead which remains there. The blood ritual shall be concealed magically within the monastery, and only he who willingly seeks dark visions shall find it. Well, got one down. The mouth ritual shall be placed in the great arch itself, under the dark one's sign. And the heart ritual shall be given to someone named Gregor for safekeeping. Hmm. Now, there's another note on this page in another's handwriting. Gregor is missing in the forest and probably dead. Yet where is the heart ritual? Well, I imagine we'll have to search the forest for that. You rifle through the mad monks. It said something about the nick. All right, that's now, about it. Do we have any... Can we get anything else? You rifle through the mad monks. It said oh. the nick. Now, there's... All right, I think that's about all we can do here. Um, let's see. All right, yeah, I think we're about done here, so, um... Done here for now, I should say. I think there's uh, something else that we can do later. Um, there we go. Let's head back upstairs. And we're probably going to want to get some more uh, uh, garlic later. And we're still going to want to uh, break open that... Uh, you retrieve the dark one side. That cabinet when we get stronger. But for now, let's go ahead and knock. Uh, knock on door. You hear movement on the other side of the door. Excellent. After a few minutes, you hear someone removing the bar and unlocking the bolts on the other side of the door. Don't mind me, just a vampire. I mean, uh, nothing. Nothing. I'm, I'm fine. The inhabitants of the inn eye you suspiciously. You get the feeling that you're not particularly welcome. Oh, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Can I, uh, go, uh, knock on this door? Anyone here now? There is no response. Whoever, or what... Dang it. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's get some rest. You unlock the door to your room and go in. Go get a good night's rest. Uh, let's sleep until morning. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Excellent, and my uh, stamina has increased. Well, I think I know what that means. Let's go ahead and uh, have a seat.
No, don't sit there. You'll never know when an elephant will wander. Oh. Alright, how about, can we sit over there? There we go. Hello! Something like a good breakfast to get you off to a good start in the morning. Especially when everything's laced with mm. garlic. Garlic for breakfast. That didn't do... That did... That didn't do... That did... You straighten out your jacket and re... So, greet the innkeeper. Ah, so you are back. Yeah, yeah, I just came down this morning. Uh, can we talk to you about anything else? Any other rumors? I do not gossip. Okay. I am there, as always. Okay. I know little of the forest, for I seldom leave my... Besides the ones that come in here. Uh, I think we basically asked about all of this. Alright. Well, say goodbye. The innkeeper nods at you. All right, let's go ahead and leave. I said leave. Thank you. Still you remain. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. I have the pa power of save load. All right, let's uh, go ahead and uh, greet him. What is it you want? Uh, you have anything new to say? Old man. Nikolai is an old man, and easily confused. His wife has been missing for years now. He cannot face the fact that she is gone. Uh, that's too bad. Alright, um, I don't think there's anything else. I think we've asked about all that other stuff. So, say goodbye. Try not to make a nuisance of yourself. What is it you... Try not... It's very tempting to keep doing that for a little while. Not that the game would recognize it, but still... Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, we want to... want some more garlic. It's you again. It's been a quiet day so far. It's only morning. Uh, how many rations do we have right now? Five? Four. Hmm. Well, we should probably ask, uh, buy some more. Uh, let's greet her. Made it back, did you? <laughs> so what can I do for you this time? I can... Nothing there to about buying. Uh, purchase goods. Let's get another bit of uh, garlic. And we'll just leave now. All right. As my husband used to say. Oh, I should have said goodbye to her. Oh, well, whatever. All righty. Well, uh, let's go uh, see Igor again. Uh, Dr. Cranium did say something about uh, the fluid. Uh, let's greet him. The headstone carvers. Um, I guess we can't say anything about it. All right. Well, back to exercising. This is a little too easy now. You need to add more weight. Okay. You pick up two of the metal weights and put one in each of the baskets. Do -do 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 -do. Your legs are too stiff and sore to use this right now. All right. How are we? Oops, wrong thing. How are we doing now on strength? Three hundred. Hopefully, that'll be enough.
Uh, at some point, we won't be able to use that anymore, but eventually we'll, wanna, uh, we'll want to uh, use that as much as possible up until that point. Um, and I'll want to do that before I go to sleep every day, at least every day that I sleep in town. Uh, yes, I want to use this. Let's go back in. Let's see if uh, my strength is now high enough. Yes, 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 yes. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about me. You pushed. Now can I break it open? Strike a mighty hammer blow at the glass case. It just. This is not a good. All right. Well, how about this? You can't open that. What? You can't. This is not a. Hmm. That didn't do. That did. I guess I need to be even stronger then. All right. Fine. the dark all righty all righty let's go see dr. cranium again uh, he should have some more uh, uh, potions for us I hate that I hate musical puzzles Horrible at them. Stupid Simon. Hello. Ah, you're just in time to witness a magnificent. Um, I gotta go somewhere else, uh, anywhere I other than here. The very primal force of lightning at my back and call. Now I shall use it to create life itself. Watch this. Do I have to? Uh, I don't think that quite worked, uh, Dr. Cranium. Hmm, that was not quite the experimental result I expected. Yeah. Uh, but never mind that. It is merely a momentary setback in the annals of science. I shall readjust the magnetic electrical stimulation system and try again another day. You mean the mess. The, the, the mess. Yes, okay. Uh, let's greet him. You say hello to the scientist. It is good to see you again. I trust the Antwerps gave you no trouble? Uh, uh define trouble. Hey, we could tell about Spielberg. You tell Dr. Cranium about your first adventures in the Spielberg Valley. He seems vaguely interested in your tales of the Baron and his children, but his eyes positively light up when you mention the Antwerp. Oh ho. Ah, so you are the Spielberg yes. hero. I went there on an Antwerp gathering expedition a few months ago. The people there are still talking about your adventures. Well, they should. You continue by telling Dr. Cranium of your encounters with the eccentric wizard Erasmus, the deadly kobold magic user, and the ogreless Baba Yaga. Turned her into a frog? Oh, such poppycock. That is a perfectly straightforward scientific explanation for all of those events. Yes, I used no magic. Thing as magic. The music got really loud there for a second. Um. You tell Dr. Creek. Ah. You can turn. So, that's okay. Um. Why did the music get so loud there? Uh, oh. Lots more things. Uh, Antwerps. Antwerps are truly fascinating species. They reproduce by splitting into a number of tiny Antwerps, each with their own genetic code. They cannot split voluntarily, however. They only reproduce when cut or stabbed. So those are my, my Antwerps. Antwerps. I want Antwerps them back. came from Spielberg Valley, where there was an Antwerp population explosion last week. Yes, that was all me. Uh, lightning. I have come to the conclusion that lightning is electrical in nature. You don't which say. Which would put it in the realm of fire. Fortunately, there have Not been air. an increasing number of storms here lately, so I have been able to harness some of the lightning and store it for experimental use. How do you store it? Uh, life force. I am convinced that the primal force of life is electrical in nature. Of course, it must also involve water for life. 
and pizza, without which life would be boring. <laughs> of course. Uh, old man? My neighbor Nikolai is not actually as old as he now appears. He has been very unhappy since his wife's disappearance mm, some 15 that's too years bad. ago. I can understand his disappointment. She never brought me back the berries I needed for an experiment. What? What? You asked her to go out and get berries? Uh, I can't ask about that. Under healing potions. Here you are. One freshly brewed healing drink. Thank you. Sip it if you get hurt, and its beneficial vitamins and other ingredients will help your body to recover quickly. Okay. Um, poison cure. Here you are. One freshly brewed universal poison antidote. And just to be on the safe side, empty flask. Wash, Dr. Crane. Of course, of course. <laughs> I'm o Thank you. All right, I think we are about done enough already. Oh, also, oops, not not what I wanted. Um, it's too dangerous. That's right. Okay, I have to get out of here before I can uh, look at my spells. Perhaps I should wait a day or two before resuming my Frankie experiment. It is very important that the right person stay in charge here. Oh. And yes, you should not you should not work on a Frankie experiment. Uh, he was a horrible, horrible manager I had many years ago. Anyway, uh, on that note, uh, let's go ahead and save it again. And uh, in the next episode, uh, we will actually get out of town and explore the surrounding area and maybe kill a few Vorpal Bunnies. Although, I should probably rest for about... 60 minutes before I do that. All right. Uh, we'll see you all in the next episode.